My name is Debbie Deldorn and I am with Nola and Associates with Keller Williams Coastal Realty here in uh, York, Maine. Uh, we are with, in the Wells office right now um, and joining me is Robin Swinnis and she is an artist here in the surrounding communities and Robin is displaying her art here and it looks just beautiful. And welcome Robin. Welcome, thank you yeah. for having me. I'm so glad you're here. Yeah, um, yeah. I'm happy. And what age did you decide or think about drawing or sketching or painting? Um, well, I mean, I started very young, uh, but it wasn't like I thought, oh, I'm going to be this when I grow up. My earliest memory is really, we moved to uh, Long Island, New York, and uh, I used to draw on the streets all the time in, in chalk and draw horses and stuff like that. Um, so horses were the first thing that kind of inspired me, but the neighbor's parents were away and they were having this caretaker lady come and stay with them and she's this Irish woman, Mrs. Shira, and she used to have these awesome parties and I had never been to one and I wanted to go so bad and I don't know what I did but I got in trouble and my mother was mad at me and she sent me to my room. So I was in the, my room for a couple hours and I was looking through my stuff and I found this book of Walt Disney stuff, you know, their, their artwork, the uh, Mickey Mouse, Daffy Duck, all that kind of stuff. And um, I just started drawing it. A few hours go by, <laughs> eventually my mother was like, are you in there? <laughs> you know? And I came out with these drawings, and actually I brought some today. I mean, these are, oh, I'd love yeah, to they're see old, them. you know. They're yeah. from the 70s or whatever, I'm about nine or 10, I don't know. And maybe you can't see this, but, no. Oh my goodness. <laughs> so like, you know, Donald Duck and, you know, these, Walt Disney type of things. Those are wonderful. Daffy How old are you? How old are you? Know, like nine or ten or something. Here's a Bambi one. Oh, how cute. You know? And so the funny thing is that after I did that, I must have showed them, like, obviously I showed them to my parents. Some here, there's one or two where I did have a, I wanted to do paint horses over my bed. So I said, oh, yeah, this is the proposal to my mother for what I wanted to put over the bed. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's terrible and I never did it I mean like I started drawing in pencil and it was never you know wow. just didn't come out of it but anyway so I did these drawings I must have shown them to my friend and uh, her name was Stacy and she was much more enterprising than me she's like we should try to sell your drawings I'm like no 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 one's gonna want these these are really good we gotta do it so we went all around the neighborhood and tried to sell these drawings for like 25 cents a piece it was horrible I mean I was so embarrassed you know and it was so uncomfortable I think we sold one, and we had a huge neighborhood. So I was like, yeah, okay, this is not a good way to make a living. <laughs> but uh, anyway, so that's, that's kind of the first sort of memory I have of when I started to do stuff like that. What would you call your type of painting, your art? Um, you know, I struggle with that because there's all kind of different styles, and honestly, I, I don't think I do any one kind of style. I mean, I'm painting with acrylics. So that's one thing. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm mostly doing it on wooden panels. and It's not heavy at all, really. Um, mm -hmm. So I like that. And I can paint the sides. I don't know if you can turn them into the side, but I can paint the sides so that it looks more finished and people don't have to frame them, mm -hmm. which I like because it's, you know, that could be another huge expense if you mm -hmm. buy your own custom frame or whatever. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, so yeah, so I mean, I do, as far as styles, you know, that hamburger, it's pretty realistic and, you know, when do onions fall like that in, in the real world? Never. Um, so it, it kind of you know, could be impressionistic. Uh, this apple one is more like realism. Yeah. Um, whereas these are not quite as detailed and real. But I mean, I'll do even some more impressionist kind of loose stuff, um, which I like. And, and as a kid, that's actually what I first was attracted to. Now, did you go to um, art school? So I went to University of Maine at Orono, which was more affordable. Mm -hmm. Not too far away, but far enough that my parents could keep an eye on me all the time. Um, and I did go in as an art major. Um, I think I got like a tiny little $300 scholarship or something for this one photo that I took and something else. So you not only like to paint, you like to design. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You, Definitely. You're, you're a designer. Oh, yeah. My mind's always going about it. And actually, I designed my own wedding dress. I'll show you my little sketches. <laughs> what is it that you like to paint the most? Um, you know, that can vary. If, if I'm struggling with one, then I go back to something that I'm more comfortable with, mm -hmm. that I've done more of. And the thing I've done the most of 
is blueberries. Yes. Um, this is one <laughs> that uh, was in uh, the main and home, home design magazine. Oh, nice. Um, so nice. that has become the most sort of popular thing that I've done and pe the most, let's say, requested and okay. it sells the most. So that's when I'm struggling, that's what I go back to. Mm -hmm. um, but I love to do, I love doing farm animals. Mm -hmm. um, and I'd like to do more horses. I've only done a couple, but mm -hmm. I'm a horse freak, so mm -hmm. I gotta get to it. I just keep not getting to it. So those of you that want your horse painted, yeah. <laughs> she's the girl to call. Yeah, well, actually, initially, I started doing things from the Southwest that was, and, and cowboy types of things, cowgirl things. See my boots? I'm crazy, oh. <laughs> crazy for cowboy things. <laughs> um, but anyway, I started doing that, and those were not selling because we're in Maine. So, you know, southwestern yeah. stuff, it's not really a big hit here. Uh, what is your favorite part of the process of starting a painting? Um, okay, well, once I've figured out what I'm going to paint, that's usually the hardest thing. Um, and then I, most of the time, will sketch it out on, on the canvas. So once I go through that struggle of getting it right and getting the view that I want or the subject or whatever, then that's the fun part where it's, it's almost like a coloring book. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? You just get to color and have fun, you know, paint and have fun. And again, there's definitely struggles through that process too, but that's probably the best part. Um, and also when I'm struggling sometimes, when I get really stuck, I'll paint the sides. Um, I'll, I'll forget about what's on the front of the painting and I'll go, oh, what, what, what color would be nice and contrasty on the side? And I'll do that. What are your favorite colors to work with? Ooh. You know, lately I'm in the mood for reds, but... I used to hate red, okay. right. <laughs> and it just it changes over time. Like you know, I if you ask me whatever three years ago or whatever, I said, oh, you know, I love pink, but the pink paints that I have, eh, they're not that, they're not that intense. They're not that great, and it's, I like the intensity of color, so that's why I'm kind of getting more into the the reds lately. Um, everybody seems to like blue, and so I think that's another reason that the blueberries sell. Mm -hmm. It's just a common color that so many people like. What? do you want your art to say about you? Hmm. Uh, well, I, as an artist, I don't want to be pigeonholed into one kind of subject or style. You know, I mean, I have different moods, as does most people, and, and definitely artists, mm -hmm. so I want to try something different. Um, as far as what it says, I want people to feel that it's fun and happy, um, and that's what I think the bright colors do. Um, when do you know that a piece is finished? <laughs> uh, sometimes you don't. <laughs> sometimes it just hits you and you're like, okay, yep, I'm there. And then other times I'll, I'll walk away and come back and go, oh, should I <laughs> add this or not? And, you know, sometimes somebody else looking on will go, oh, yeah, yeah, that's good enough. Like if I, sometimes I'll post something on Facebook and say, I'm not done yet, but I need a name for this. And some people are like, yep, yeah, it's good right, right there. Leave it. And so I don't know. There's... I forget who it was, but there was one artist that I heard one time that said, stop as soon as you know, as soon as your viewer knows mm -hmm. what it is mm -hmm. that you're painting. Mm -hmm. um, but that doesn't always work with me, so it's, it's different every time. There's no one exact thing that I know. Okay. In fact, I could look at it several times, different days, and go, what the hell was I thinking? Sure. That, that's bad. I mean, i got to sure. fix that, or, mm -hmm. or, oh, that's good, or whatever. So, Where do your ideas come from? In general... Um, I do a lot of farm animals, so and I, w I live in a rural area, and so walking by these farms, that's where I get the ideas for the cows and stuff like that, um, and pigs, horses, roosters, whatever. That's the, f the main inspiration nowadays, um, and I don't usually paint people, but one of the things, the collections that I have is called the Working Man series, but uh, that came from some black and white photos of my husband's dad building his own house in the 1950s and it was just a great shot of him with the hammer kneeling down and I thought oh it's such a cool shot and it it had that sort of Norman Rockwell feel to it and I thought I'm, I'm gonna try that and so I did it on a black background because frankly if I screwed it up I could paint over it mm -hmm. better with the black gesso and then mm -hmm. kind of start again so I sketched it out first that took forever sketching him out um, and part of the photo the hand was, it was such an old and not that great of a photo, but the hand was blown out and I couldn't see the hammer that he was holding. Um, so I had my husband 
pose for me because he's got the similar hand hand and everything is that so he's there like this with the, and i gave him a hammer and everything he's there like this with the hammer so i'm like okay hold still hold still and i'm he's like are you done yet you know but his mom was an artist so he had to pose for her a lot too oh okay so he's used to that okay. um but yeah no it's actually my yellow hammer that's in the that's in the painting um so that's what started that working man series okay um and i had a few more of the father-in-law uh building the house so i used those and then i started thinking well what about all these other kind of working people? You know, there's lobstermen, obviously, in Maine. Um, people at the fairs, like you go to a local fair and you get the kids who are, you know, prepping their animals to show and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So so that's what some of those are. It doesn't have to be just men. It can be women, too. Um, where, where can people see your artwork um, um, in, the, in the near future with COVID and everything? I'm consistently usually at um, Casco Bay Artisans Gallery, which is in Portland, Maine, right on the waterfront. And they have sold a ton of my blueberries. Um, and they're a year-round gallery. Beautiful space, tall ceilings, um, the concrete floors that are polished, and it's, it's a great space. I love it. Um, and then the other gallery that I've been in for a few years also sells the blueberries is in Portsmouth and it's called N.W. Barrett and they're right on Market Street and they're a different kind of gallery in that they'll have a whole bunch of different things. They'll have sculpture and jewelry and stuff so not as many big walls um, so the pieces I give them are smaller okay. but the blueberries have been the popular thing there. Okay. Um, so those are the main two but then I've also been in a place called Color Collection which is in Falmouth, okay. Maine. Um, and I've been there for several years off and on, and they show art on the walls, and it's also a women's clothing store. So they arrange the clothes by color, and then they put the art with it. Oh, okay. um, it's it's kind of neat how they arrange them. I Actually, see. on my website, it lists all of my galleries as well, because there's some here that I have listed that are temporary. Uh, might be for one show, might be for a benefit or something mm -hmm. like that. Like mm -hmm. I'm doing, um, I'm gonna have a couple pieces in a benefit in Falmouth in the Elizabeth Moss mm -hmm. Gallery. So, and that's coming up in May, so. Well, you sound very busy. Um, yeah, it's yeah, you always, busier. you always have to keep going, basically. Yeah, it's getting busier. Yeah. Well, thank you so much that we loved having you here. Oh, and I love I love I love seeing your art. And um, if anybody wants to see it, like I said, please come by, stop by the Keller Williams office here in Wells. This is my website, robinswenis.com.